Well, all drivers have been frustrated by roadworks causing delays or diversions to their journeys. Now, one motorist has found his own way around the problem and built his own toll road. Mike Watts is spending £300,000 of his own money on the route which bypasses a closed section of an A road between Bath and Bristol. He's charging motorists £2 to use it, as Kai's Joe Tidy reports. Good morning. Good Just morning. one pass? That's £2. What started as an idea in the pub has led to a 24-hour fully functioning private toll road. For £2 each way, commuters from Bristol to Bath are paying to use this road as a shortcut around closures. At first glance, the Kelston toll road does look pretty official. It's got tarmac along large sections of it. It's got drainage, security cameras, a toll booth. All the staff have got their own Kelston toll road stash. But all this has been done without planning applications. They've put a retrospective application in, but whether or not it's successful is another matter. Quite clear with the residents. For local businessman Mike Watts, though, it's not something he's worried about. By the time the application goes through, the main road, which was closed in February because of a slippage, will be open again, and his temporary business venture will have run its course. He's invested £150,000 and hopes commuters will be willing to spend £2 each way to save driving around the 14-mile diversion. Are you going to make that money back? I hope so, um, and I'm pretty confident we will, but it doesn't stop at £150,000. That's what it's cost us to build the road. It's actually going to cost us £1,000 a day to operate. I mean, we've, we have the toll booth here. We've got two operators on 24 hours a day. And on top of that, we've got the insurances and we've got the maintenance. So we're looking at a thousand pounds a day. Brilliant. They should have done it ages ago because I've been bitten. So I've been waiting for this for months. <laughs> it's OK, I suppose, if the road is dangerous. Two pounds seems excessive for a small dirt track. As for the council, it appears to be tentatively supportive. Innovation from the private sector that uh, a council couldn't have done. If we were doing this, we'd have to build it to highway standards. And, and this is just a temporary road. We, we, we simply as a council would not have been able to get away with doing the, this this quickly. For commuters, this road could cut journey times dramatically. But for Mike, it's a race against time to get his money back before Christmas. Joe Tidy, Sky News.